semi-automatic litter boxes any better than traditional scooping? They actually sent over a semi-automatic litter box for the kitties to try out and uh, we'll see actually how good it does. Let's put it to test. Hey, it's Melicat. If you're into animals, budget travel, or even exploration, come into my channel. Action! Right, just came through the delivery. It seems like a pretty sturdy packaging that they've got going on there. Everything is wrapped up quite nicely. The bubble wrap is very nicely done. Um, so far, looks all right to me. Not too bad in terms of assembly. A bit of a no-brainer. First impression of the machine is it's quite futuristic. It looks uh, pretty nice, actually. It's a bit big um, because it's, it's round. It's quite good looking and it's very sleek. It's a nice item to have at home aesthetically. It reminds me of like a space pod. The kids are quite interested to explore it. The only thing is don't make the same mistake as I did. Uh, but thank God, just a bit of a scare. No harm done. Encountered a small problem when trying to load it with litter um, because I have to pour it from the front. There's a hole here. Um, pouring it through here is a bit difficult, but pouring it through here is a bit unergonomic because pouring the cat litter from a bag, like I kind of have to tilt this, which is kind of like a big thing. But if I pour it, it kind of just ends up in the front, right? Um, not to mention that I can't get, can't get too much in here because it's kind of like an oval shape inside. It's big on the outside, but a bit small on the inside compared to other litter boxes where I can actually line it up quite. I'm just approximating here, the unit is about uh, 55 centimeters tall. The entrance is about 20 centimeters. Curious what the inside is like. Okay, I'm just approximating here. So with the litter, about 25 centimeters high. And for the litter, I was able to, let's see, to put about 6.5 centimeters in depth of cat litter. Given this small area right here. Well, I'm just gonna leave this out and see how my cats like it. Basically, I'm gonna leave the litter box out for a week and um, just using it as instructed and see how the kids like it. It's been about four hours and still no signs of anyone using the litter box yet. For the first day, they're actually still resorting to all my other litter boxes. Right on the third day, uh, yep, finally see some signs of usage, although I don't know who used it. So let's try to scoop it first. Oh yes, you have to open the top hole so that the lump can fall out of there. As the litter is on one side, so the center of balance is off. I need to wrestle it a little bit to turn it clockwise. Bit of an arm wrestle there. Have to dump this part out carefully. The interior is quite clean after the first usage, but I do see a lot of nicks and crannies inside. So if there's any messes in the future, uh, it can get messy. 
for my cats, they like to chew and lick on this ribbon handle. Uh, not fond of it. I tried to guide my other cats to go inside. Yellow cat is about 5 kilograms, uh, that's about 12 pounds, but she wouldn't go in. I found out Buddy has been pawing at something, and upon closer inspection, it's like a little part that fell out of the machine. Hmm. Small plastic part. Choking hazard, potentially. Support my channel. If you like my content and want to keep my channel alive, all the information's in the description. Thanks, guys. All right, Strawberry is trying to get in, and um, it turned out to be okay. She's one of my smallest cats. She's at 2.9 kilograms right now. This has been used again by somebody, and I'm going to try cleaning it again to see if there's anything different compared to the first time. Still fighting that counterweight. I think that's perpetual. Yep, and just as I expected, something stuck on the wall. Great, so I have to take my scoop and just try to eliminate this. Thing is it comes off easily kind of but because the inside is round and my scoop is straight oh it's not exactly 100% clean Depending on the speed and if you sift it back and forth, you are doomed to have wasted cat litter. Believe it or not, this actually happens more than you think. Just double checking to see if there's any uh, dirty clumps in the litter. And it turned out some small to medium clumps that my scoop and pick up, it's just left there. So not the cleanest. After using this um, for uh, just over a week, it's a nice looking thing. The good thing about it is that it doesn't use a lot of cat litter, like inside the, I mean, you don't need to put that much there because there's not much space for that. The small to medium cats would actually go in and they'll use it fine. And if the conditions are perfect, you really don't have to touch this again. Um, but the cons is that um, if the poo poo or pee pee gets stuck on the side, you do have to resort to this to actually scoop, which may not be perfect because my scoop is straight and it's it's completely round inside and uh, when you turn the thing you actually have to turn it very slowly otherwise you're just going to be wasting cat litter that's that's just going get, get, to get unsifted they just fly through and um, they'll get poured out with the lump another con is that uh, their promo video for this item it says that you don't have to uh, pour out cat litter for 14 days um, or up to 14 days but um, this Reserve right here. Do you really want to leave poo and pee here for 14 days? Um, I'm not so sure. And not, not to mention that this thing will overflow, especially for um, a multi-cat household. With one cat, is I'm not so sure. I've never put it to test, but it's still kind of small for 14 days worth of pee pee and poo poo. I personally wouldn't recommend it because for hygienic reasons, just like how you wouldn't not flush a toilet for two weeks. But if time is something that is a, of a huge consideration, then probably traditional scooping uh, would be better because all you have to do is just scoop, shake, 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 and into the garbage it goes. Whereas for this one, you have to first unlock, turn it slowly, scrape the sides if anything is stuck, which from experiences, yeah, something is almost always stuck. 
And then you have to unlock the top lid so there's a hole for the future lump to fall through. Turn it so that the lump falls down and then revert it back in its original position. And you have to do it a few times so that um, the, the stuff actually comes back. And then you have to lock the top lid and then you have to lock the back and then you have to pull out the bottom tray to empty and sometimes you have to wipe it too. Not the most time efficient thing. Another thing is if they have diarrhea, then uh, yeah, liquid poo is just gonna end up all over the walls. Same thing with pee sometimes. If they pee in a way that um, there's, it's kind of like off to the side where the cat litter is not covering, it happens with litter boxes too. And because it's a round uh, compartment in there, so they're likely to actually get pee on the walls. It's, it can get quite messy and some cats won't like it and they'll stop going all together. Due to the small round interior, pee, poo, and or diarrhea can end up on there. If not, the rolling motion will actually spread those particles around for you. So that's what happened to my cats. So um, in summary, good is aesthetics, um, not having to touch this, uh, and also just a new gadget to play with, but the cons, I kind of just mentioned it for us. Um, so you guys can decide. It might be for some people, but whereas for us, I think I'd much uh, rather use traditional scooping. So that's our take on it. See you guys next time. Meow.